Coming up on NSFW, Sarah Lane joins us and we answer problems submitted by you, the audience. Also, we play a little bit of Butt Cuba and we ask what Sarah's watching as we unveil possibly the most disturbing YouTube video you'll see this week. It's all coming up on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 36 for August 10th, 2010. Problem solved. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace at squarespace.com. Make sure to use promo code NSFW to get 10% off the lifetime of your order. Who's the baddest dude in the galaxy? Who's slicker than Superfly? Joy to Casino. Cooler than Captain Kirk. I'm Lando Calrissian. I'm the owner of this fine establishment, and who might you be? Cut the charm, Lando. The Black Star Warrior. That's who. Gambler. Smuggler. Scoundrel. I hate you. Running his cons right under the nose of the Galactic Empire. I've got to do business with you is nothing but trouble. The Empire would be all over me like stink on a Wookiee. No offense. Trust me. No, gentlemen. He is dangerous. Calrissian must be destroyed. But when the man tries to shut him down... Next time you hire a pilot to move cargo for you, make sure and hire one that will dump it at the first sign of an Imperial cruiser. Land out Calrissian or under arrest. What charge? Think of something. Lando shuts the man up. Think about this. <laughs> Brings trouble right to their front door. Where'd you get this thing anyway? Come and get me the hell out of here! I got a really bad feeling about this. Don't worry, works every time. That's Lando. We're never gonna get out of here alive. Blast well, that's not gonna work. I thought you said this works every time. Get back to the ship. I got this. <laughs> get between this brother and his woman, and space ain't black enough to hide from him. Vader. Ah. Uh. Mr. Calrissian, won't you join us? Oh, mama. You got a lot of beautiful girls here, Vader. But I'll take that one off your hands. Not when she is my only link to finding the rebels. You're so smooth, don't you? Well, I'm here, ain't it? Get out of here! I can't find the right lever. Well, I have to do everything. <laughs> I'll deal with you soon, Calrissian. The Black Star Warrior. If you want to see him, ask your mama. Dude, I say that should be our new motto. If you want to see it, ask your mama, because it is the <laughs> NSFW show, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber. That's my favorite activity every single Tuesday night. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, none other than JRY, Professor Justin Robert Rubles. What is going on, Justin Robert Young, sir? Uh, oh, you know me, Brian. Uh, together, we're cultivating a show that's very popular with mothers the world over. So, uh, hence <laughs> our new tagline. <laughs> What's our new tagline? Go ahead. Uh, you want to see it? Ask your mama. Oh, that's what it was. But most yeah. importantly... Oh, you listening... remember the one you said uh, the 30 seconds yeah, ago? Yeah, I'm sorry. That? Listen, that was a long time Speaking ago. Speaking of mamas. Me. Tough for me to pay attention. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got one sexy mama right here in the room. It's been <laughs> none other than Sarah Lane from the Twin Network. Sarah, oh my God, you have no idea how excited we are to have you on the show. Everybody give some digital applause to none other hey. than Sarah Lane. There they are. 
<laughs> so, hey uh, guys. So just what up? first of all, thank you so much, Sarah, for coming on the show. You have no idea how excited we are welcome. about this. This is going to be so much fun. Speaking of I which, am. I'm a little scared because you guys wouldn't tell me anything about the show beforehand, but uh, I'm game to uh, have a little fun. So that's here good. I am. That's good well, because yeah, we see, don't really see, know the ourselves. Thing, thing about that is uh, you have to know what's going to go on the show to tell somebody. <laughs> So uh, that's kind of what happens with this. I mean, like, yeah, it might be a little mysterious and weird, but it's also really lazy. That's like 90% of it. I All know right, how so that speaking goes. of which, let's jump right into it. Segment number okay. one, the first, Mr. Justin Robert Chung. What are we up to, my friend? Well, you know, friends, uh, we like to, every once in a while, dust off an old favorite. And by the way, by every once in a while, I mean, we're starting a new uh, trend here. <laughs> and we're going to dust off some of the old favorites of this show and bring them back for little, little segmented cameo appearances. And many of you might have seen the episode, But Cuba, where we uh, went through some Google videos and took the literal Google translations and uh, read them off to each other. And we had to guess which video it was from. Uh, so we're bringing that back. We're going to have our friend Sarah play a little game of butt Cuba. All right. Well, this or sounds as, fun. As we like okay. to call it, a little segment we call Old Reliables, <laughs> where we go back to something that definitely didn't screw up before. All right, so do you <laughs> want me to act one of these out and Sarah's going to decide which viral video that this, that I'm actually portraying? I think you should read it straight because these uh, are very, very, very well-known videos. There, there's nothing that we're going to read you, Sarah, that uh, it's going to be like, oh, my friend Morty jumped off a bridge and landed on an inflatable dog. It's 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 something that has gotten millions of hits. So Brian, I think you should just try and read it straight because if you if you listen to it, there are little clue, uh, clues here and there. Okay, so basically, for those of you who didn't see the previous episode of But Cuba, where what we do is we read Google's auto translate of a popular web video, and based on the questionable translation, Sarah Lane has to figure out exactly which very famous viral video we are portraying. Are you, any questions you have before we begin, Sarah? I think I'm good. Okay. I think I feel solid. Now, this one, you wanted me to start, uh, the one from Patrick Delahanty, you wanted me to start at, at 059. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And, and before you read, I will give a, a brief hint to uh, uh, steer Sarah in the right direction. This is an audio video, so, or sorry, a, a song uh, that got very, very, very popular, and it included quite a few familiar faces. All right. So the lyrics, as translated by Google's auto-translate uh, auto feature, go as follows. <clears throat> Did you meet? It's mean. I'm a hotel, have been other and so on. You know, I think in the morning. Anyway, I've been thinking about me a lot. I've been meaning to tell you something. Internal at that it's important. We didn't get that there's a lot of over five years. And... Good evening, missus. I'll admit it. In general, I do. The meantime interests men and women on the mm -hmm, Time magazine, and she would deliver on. Yes. Who? What is your guest, Sarah Lane? Time magazine. Well, <laughs> keep in mind, it very likely mistranslated it. That's sort of the point here. Yeah. Were now, you, now remember, remember um, the initial clue. And, and I, I assume that I'm like I shouldn't be looking in chat because they'll just they'll ruin it for this me. This is right? why she's a pro, Justin. This is right. why we had her on the show because she knew intuitively that you don't look at the chat because they'll cheat and they'll ruin everything. Well, well, I'll tell you this: chatters, I'm watching the chat. They are nowhere bad, bad near this one. So oh, chat room has no clue. All right, no, this no. is good. This is good. So if you have no clue, you're in the same boat as everyone else. Um, we're. <laughs> So think, think of a song. These are lyrics. So it is a song. And uh, I and I can't hear it again. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do them super fast for you. In fact, I'll let okay. you actually okay. take a look here at them. Uh, the, there we go. Song starts at 059. Did you meet? It's mean. I'm a, health, a hotel, have been other and so on. You know, I think in the morning. Anyway, I've been thinking about me a lot. I've been meaning to tell you something internal and that it's important. We didn't get there's a lot of over five years. And good evening, missus. I'll admit it. A general I do. The meantime interests. Men and women on the mm -hmm, Time magazine, she would deliver on. Yes. Who? Final I answer have, time. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no uh, 
like I, I don't even. It's because it's a song, but you're saying it. That's really that can be really hard. And if I were to sing the tune, you'd immediately know it. That's the problem, right? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you would know it. Uh, if I it yeah, I don't know. I, I would say 50-50, you'd get it. I, I will. I will go so far as to say this again. The chat room has still not even sniffed it. Um, it comes from a a old media source. There you go. This is not a new media meme. This is an old media meme. Well, no, no, no. It, it is a new media meme in that it was a legit viral video. Right, right. It did but not it come was born, from the internet. It was born on old media, if that helps yeah. you out. Uh, old media. What's old? Uh, the big three networks. How about that? Oh, man. Uh, big three networks. I don't know. All right, we're, we're going to need some sort of answer here, Sarah. I Count don't know. I, is oh, there like an answer for... That's all right. Let's take a listen. Here we go. Hey, Jimmy. Come on, skip hey. to where we started saying. I'm in a... Uh, well, this is, this is where it begins. hotel. I no. Is that, oh, this is... So long, hotel, right? yeah. This is at 58. Oh. Really oh. Remember when you told me to go to that spot? That's the spot I'm at. Okay, anyway, okay, okay. Sorry. I've been okay, thinking about you a lot. <laughs> and uh, I've been needing to tell you something. I don't know why I haven't, but it's important. I mean, we've been together for so long, over five years. and I still See? All that's in there. It's not right. So here it goes. I'm f***ing Matt Damon. She's f***ing Matt Damon. All right, all right. Everybody knows this one. You knew that video, right? You had seen that before? Of course, but the old media thing threw me off. But I wouldn't have gotten it okay, anyway. So, there's, right, like, so, there's just no way. But saying, I was thinking like some old Johnny Carson thing. No. Yes, yeah, very funny, and I suck, and Wait, I No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> when we said old media, we didn't mean like old people in the media. We meant like not not the, not the born of the internet. That's well, right. Well, now it makes sense. You got a, you got a chance to redeem you yourself. Me. You got a chance to redeem yourself. Justin, okay. you want to set this one up? Sure. This next one, uh, really, you, you cannot get bigger. If you, if you were to list, if you were to make the, the Mount Rushmore of, 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 of viral videos over the last, let's say, two years, this is first ballot, no question, on there. Uh, you know, really, I'll, I'll all I can say is that this was big and it only got bigger. Right. Okay. Here we go. Great. So if I get it wrong, then I'm really a loser. That's, That's how you've set this up. I, I didn't. You know, to... I, I didn't want to spell it out, but sure, if you want to <laughs> That's say pretty it, pretty much like, exactly what he's saying. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? I thought Sarah. you said there's not going to be any pressure. No, okay, okay. no pressure. Just ready. You know, oh, oh, wait, wait. Did we say no pressure? <laughs> oh, we okay. meant whoa, pressure. <laughs> we meant to say. You I'm meant sorry. Under pressure. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to read this one as straight as I can. Okay. Hello there. Where did you get that? Now back to Cuba. Now back to me. But we I start. Know it. You, oh my God! Oh, really why did you read it exactly? Like, <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even. It's so hard. I tried. To, I tried to read it neutral, but it just slips out. Oh, it's sure. just, oh wait, by, by neutral, does me neutral mean right. exactly like it's red? <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Go ahead. What is it? Old Spice. You never know. You never know. She may be totally wrong. Let's see. Let's Hello, see. ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Dude, how do you read that and not make it sound like it? Hello there. Uh, I don't know. How about you don't lower your voice and use the you exact do, same cadence? Like, like that'd be answer. my first two things to do. Hello there. <laughs> That's right. I should have been like, Hello, governor. <laughs> now where'd you get that? Now back now to back Cuba. To now back to me. But we start using ladies said the body washing, which holds the parts <laughs> You get Brody. All right, you fine. get Brody for that. Brody. All oh, Brody. <laughs> but the good news is, is our, our new guest has gotten one and oh, she or one and one. She ends up uh, emerging semi scathed from the fiery dooms of Mount Mordor. There Mount we go. Dooms of Mordor. Mount. There's mounts and there's dooms and there's Mordors. That's all I know. Go ahead. <laughs> And in some way, we're going to chop up the three of them and get what just happened. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. So can, uh, we, can we move forward, please? Absolutely. Absolutely. We can. So, so Sarah, listen, this is not going to be a contest, this next segment. This is just going to be you doing a service for our audio listeners. Now, we, we've had a bit of a problem on this show because we're kind of a visual show. Obviously, a lot of what we do is like photoshops or viral videos. So we're always very, very concerned about the audio people. 
And, and what we want you to do is help us out with that and explain what you're seeing in this viral video, or actually the as yet to really go viral video that might take off. So you might be the one believe, the who's way, narrating this believe. one into eternity. Well, uh, for the record, I cannot believe that this was not already viral because I must have seen this like five months ago. And, it, so and I, it's some, it must have been in like our back burner of things that we needed to blow up and then somehow forgot to get around to destroying this video. So this will be this may be a case of Bad Romance Girl uh, 2.0 as we yeah. launch something that could be very, very big based entirely on your ability, Sarah, to narrate what you're about to see for the audio audience. Any questions sure. before we begin? I think I'm fine. So the audio will be down and it's just me. Well, I'm there, there will be audio. No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to play the video. Right. And then we're going to stop it and say, okay, Sarah, what have you seen? And what? you're going to describe okay. what you have seen from the last time that we stopped the video. Very simple. Very okay. simple. We can't All imagine right. anything will go wrong here. Here we go. All right. All right. So no, no, like Brian, uh, can you start this one uh, from like when there's the seconds. person in front of the camera? 18 seconds in maybe or something like that, like uh, right around yeah. there. All right, here we yeah. go. Let's take a look. What's up? My name is Alan P. Hans here. The darkest member in peer pressure. The other four in the back. Get ready. For me, I'm impatient. All right. So far, for the audio listeners, what did we see? Sky and shadows, mumbling, unintelligible nonsense. <laughs> Red tank top, weird bed, probably grandma's room. <laughs> okay. Turns around and may take off his pants, but hasn't yet. Okay, good, good and good and good. Let's uh, let's see what else there is. <laughs> All right, uh, Sarah, real quick. Uh <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the folks at home, they, they weren't able to see. We could hear shuffling. That's all we were able to hear. What, 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 what do we see? Same guy turns around, <laughs> humps grandma's bed. <laughs> all right. Uh, so far, I think the chat room's calling that accurate. You're passed on. We're doing well. Here we go. In any developments by this point, Sarah. Yes, actually, there have been. The humping of Grandma's bed continues. However, tank top guy has now thrown out his lower back. <laughs> he clearly looks like he's just like, oh, my. Yeah. Well, I like that he's trying, like, you know, it's like an architecture thing. He has to, he has to provide support for the art to kind of get the proper thrust. Right, okay, all right. Now, uh, back to the yeah, video. Dude's in pain. What's up? This your boy X. I'm about to show you what I got. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Sarah, what just happened? Uh, cousin X. <laughs> and not to be outdone, wants to hump Grandma's bed as well. Uh, but uh, but but first cousin. Um, is now feeling a little like his uh, territory has been uh, right. been compromised, so he takes the <laughs> tank off. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so also, what, what what happens to the person? They're not both humping grandma's bed, right? right? What happened to the first guy? He took his shirt off and <laughs> stuck his okay. hands in there. Okay. He did. He, he, ro he rolls off. But, rolls but off grandma's bed. He, he also he did take room, his shirt off. If, if you'll notice, his cl his shirt I mean, is now off. <laughs> like he decided after humping he, grandma's bed. He's not bed. on grandma's bed. I'm sorry. I was distracted by the shirt coming off. <laughs> All right. Right. They're not All on right. grandma's bed at the same time. They're taking turns. All right. No, good, good, good. Sarah, you want to bring us up to speed here? How could I? <laughs> What? They're depending on you, Sarah. All the right, audio, right, all right, the right. audio cousin, listeners. Cousin X is still on grandma's bed. He's thrusting. <laughs> Lower back seems intact. First cousin, he's getting into it. He likes what cousin's doing. And so he's doing sort of a vertical thrust in the air against an invisible wall of sorts. <laughs> wait, wait, with, without off. his shirt. Without his shirt. It should yeah. be mentioned. Yeah. All right. Go, Brian. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. I agree what I can. Uh, 
Uh, Sarah, we had a bit of a development here. Uh, things got a little bit interesting. You want to you want to bring us up to speed? We have breaking news. Uh, go ahead, Sarah. What's yeah, happening? What's the latest development? Because uh, Uncle Ron has entered the grandma's room, uh, and he wants to show what he's got. So. <laughs> One cousin is completely just, he's out of the picture. He's like, oh, I'll never beat Uncle Ron, so I'm out of here. Uh, first cousin uh, is, no, no, no. First cousin's out. He knows he'll, he, he's already outdone. He's outnumbered. Right. Second cousin's sort of in the corner, feeling a little, um, you know, like his masculinity is, has sort of been thrown in his face. So he's just kind of <laughs> rocking there by the, by the door. And Uncle Ron is doing a little thrust, but he's looking in the opposite direction completely. So he's thrown a whole wrench in the situation. It's like a 3D grandma's bed thrusty <laughs> thing. All right. I mean, this is, wait. They call me pretty. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop shocking, it. It's like a clown developments. car. They just keep coming. <laughs> so many of them are in there. Shocking yeah. developments here at grandma's couch. I'm Big afraid. Family. I'm afraid we have a fourth entrance. Uh, <laughs> apparently, his name is Pressure. Do you, uh, uh, you want to fill us in here? Pressure's just kind of hanging. In. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, so at this point, these are the two like younger cousins that no one really likes that much. They're like, we have moves too. Pressure and satisfaction. We're the twins. So they're doing their sort of grandma's bed thing, and no one even cares anymore. Uncle and the two other cousins are like least on their of, way. To least the of all, course. grandma's bed. By this point, <laughs> grandma's bed has ceased to be impressed by any of no, us. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe it's just, you know, it, it, it's gearing for the long haul. Because at this point, it showed no sign of abating. Oh, okay, well, right. she's obviously got a very sturdy box spring. So, <laughs> sure, yeah. So, I like to super. call it the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one more. We got uh, uh, satisfaction number five. <clears throat> I, I, tell me there's not another one, Justin. Tell me this is finally over. Please. Oh my God! <laughs> oh no, no, that, that's the first one. Back. I, I'm sorry. This I thought. I'm sorry. I thought this was Sarah's job. Sarah, you want to fill us in? I don't know who's who anymore. <laughs> uh, but it appears that 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 sort of the 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 clown car is is now in some sort of a circle. So people just sort of enter into the frame, spend a little time on Grandma's bed, <laughs> maybe go over to that corner and rock back and forth a little bit. <laughs> And not too many people at once because there's not that much room and nobody wants to double up. You know, they want their space. Just and, well, uh, and funny you would say that, Sarah. Brian, hit the video. Oh, get out of town. Are you serious? Tell I thought it was over. I was all excited with the... Oh, my God. What, a, what is... Really? What is... Uh, uh, all right, you want to... You want to take us home here, Sarah? The only thing that's really worth... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what? What I, what I kind of can't get past is now... I've the unthinkable is happening. Doubling up. I'm noticing a mirror now for the first time, and everyone seems to be going over to the mirror and kind of doing that. Yeah, you look good. You look good. <laughs> Looking All at the other folks. folks are grandma's bedding and in the corner, and it's very choreographed. I mean, this is this has obviously been practiced quite a bit. All right. But there's some sort of mirror posturing kind of stuff, and now there's like five of them. Justin, there's only one question sure I have for you. I'm not sure he's even in the family. There's only one point. question. Please tell me you've got the sound cue all queued up for Sarah's performance here. Tell me it's all ready to go and that any second it's going to start playing and I can stand up because the fact is, yes, yes, yes! I am the winner of this lame-ass podcast game. And it doesn't matter if she's a dark and in your face. Oh, that was amazing. Oh.
Amazing, Sarah. Surpassed all of our expectations. Forget your performance during the Bucky wow, segment. Wow, you thought I was going to be worse than that? No, dude, you were amazing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those were the most colorful descriptions. I, I, I guarantee the audio listeners got a better experience than the video watchers got out Absolutely. of this. <laughs> this was That's like true. one of those old radio plays. This is like War of the Worlds. I can imagine a nationwide hysteria of people humping grandma's furniture just all willy-nilly. We're going to have to call the cops. It's a national hump panic. We're going to have to explain <laughs> that, no, guys, we did it on purpose. There's no actual hump epidemic. <laughs> And that's she how wasn't I, even home. That's no. How, Grandma uh, wasn't even there. Uh, by the way, people are saying this is old. It's been on Tosh.0. What do you say we just give the internet another shot at it? If somebody wants to throw it up on Dig and maybe give us the link so we can throw that up there, how about we just maybe spread it around a little bit more? Because I hadn't seen it before, and Sarah hadn't seen it. Brian hadn't seen it until I saw it. We're pretty, you know keyed into the internet so uh, uh by the way say, let's go ahead quick suggestion somebody might want to chop up this episode and make sarah's narration the new viral video <laughs> and maybe that could go on dig so i'm just saying let's just put that out there i'm saying it's saying maybe i'm saying hey if somebody has time yeah, during the next 30 minutes of the episode so we can promote it when the show's over. All right. Look, none of this is why we brought Sarah into our clubhouse. We brought her here for some very important reasons because we are going to make some lives just a little bit better. Is that not true, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Hell yeah, Brian. Here's the deal, folks. You got problems. We got solvers. It's problem solvers. Key the music. Problem solvers. That's right. The three of us, me, Sarah, and Justin, are here to solve your terrible, pathetic little problems. And it starts with you sending them to us at nsfwshow at gmail.com. That's right, nsfwshow at gmail.com. Make sure to put your problem and your phone number and guess who's going to solve them? Sarah, Justin, and Brian. Now, we did a very brief meeting. This is a new experiment for the three of us. We have never teamed up in this sort of Marvel superheroes fashion before. So we got to work it out in advance. Now, first of all, Justin, you and I yes. were talking beforehand. Sarah, yep. we were thinking there are three of us, and there's three standard roles that need to be played. Somebody needs to identify the problem, i.e. restate it. Second of all, someone has to solve the problem. Give them the answer to what ails them. Third person needs a witty quip to wrap things up. So I say we look at the first problem on our list, we decide who gets what role, and we just get right on it. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to let everybody know we're side, that we're Sarah was who, more... Who delivers the, the clever witticism? I mean, woo! See to the pants. We, well, we, split, we split the rules. Okay. Like, oh, like no, no, don't worry. No, no, we're all, we, listen, we're a team, Sarah. We, we're we're, we're, okay, we're a, a triangle okay. that don't break. I'm, in, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm just I'm trying go. to <sighs> mentally prepare. Okay. All right. I, I also just want to point out that Sarah was more clear when uh, five youths were humping an ottoman about what was going on than she was for this segment. I know <laughs> Which is how I good know, that we've Justin, described it. Right? <laughs> I know what all I right. know. So, Justin, do you, do you have a favorite of the problems that we had sent to us? Uh, well, you know, I'll tell you what. We can just go from, uh, uh, here we go. This, this is a good one. This is something that uh, is not, you know, really in, in the core competency of, of me and Brian. So I'm glad that we have Sarah here. And, and maybe, Sarah, you'd be able to guess this by now, or maybe not. We have a relatively male-heavy viewership. Really? Shocking. Yeah. You don't say. Yeah, <laughs> oddly enough. Uh, What's so, uh, it's, no. it's, it's weird when, when we get, uh, an email like we did from Michelle, who's a fan of the show, she writes in, Hey guys, I haven't been on a date since the end of my senior year of high school, which was five years ago. I know I'm a dork, but what, uh, but I have no clue what guys like, uh, she's of course a female. Uh, what should I do? That is in from Michelle. All right. So basically we got Michelle. She needs to find out what will make her attractive to the opposite sex. <clears throat> uh, oh, I think just she needs a date, right? Because she just says she hasn't been on a date. I just think she wants, you know, she, she wants to get an at bat. She wants nope. to get in the batter's That's box, good. take That's a swing. Good. All right, so, so what, 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 you want to assign the roles for this one, Justin? I tell you what, uh, let's, give, let's, give, let's give Sarah the easiest of them. All you need to do, Sarah, is when the phone rings, the moment you hear hello, state their problem, right? I'm going to play We're with the, calling them? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course we are. Of course we are. 
<laughs> How are we gonna? Oh wait, do we not explain that part? Oh yeah, no, no, we're gonna call them, scream this, right, and then hang up the phone. You neglected to mention that. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, yeah, uh, you know okay. what? I, I tell you what, I will, I will go ahead and restate the problem, and you just need to cl cl come up with some cl kind of clever, like you know. I don't know. I, I think, I think that, I think that Sarah, Sarah should help out with this problem. I mean, you know. All right, she can give the solution to Dude, the problem. I am the wrong person to ask. I about. will. Okay. I, no, you got to dig deep, Sarah. Come on, we're helping Michelle here. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Uh, I will restate. I have. It. You will give the advice. Justin will give the recap, and we're out. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're calling her right now. Here we go. Hello, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Uh, it's the freaking Answer problem. the goddamn phone! Problem solvers? <laughs> Wait for it. We're going to fix some problems here, people. Come on, answer the phone. You said you'd be there, Michelle. is killing me. Do you think she's actually watching the, the show? Google voice subscriber you have called. <laughs> Please leave a message after the tone. Here we go. Problem solvers. Listen, you didn't have the courage to pick up your phone, so here's the deal. Problem solvers are here to solve your problem. Take it away, Sarah Lane. So, Michelle, it sounds like your problem is, is that you have no game, you want guys to notice you, and you want to go on a date and have somebody buy you dinner or something like that. Hey, Michelle, it's Brian Brushwood. Guess what? Guys are all nerds and dorks, and all they want is a warm body to love them. So if you love them first, guess what? They'll love you back. Take it away, Justin Robert Young. Keep hitting it, never quit it. Problem solved. Click. <laughs> all right. Yay! See, that's one in the You're bank. You're welcome, Michelle. This is there we go. Change. See, come on. How easy is this? All right, He's look, next one, so Justin. Set us absolutely, up. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and and before before we get into that, I do want to uh, say, and, and Tony, you can cut this out of the uh, of, of the podcast, but everybody live right now, do me a favor, dial one 60 agt 11 That is a Dan Sperry, who's a friend of me and Brian. He's on America's Got Talent right now. Help him out uh, to move him to the next round. Call one 60 agt 11 that's a supporting Dan Sperry for America's Got Talent. Thank you very, very, very much. He's a good guy, and he thanks you very, very much for your support. All right, so look, here's the, here's the important thing is we've got the game figured out. We're ready to move forward. We're ready to solve some problems. But first, we got to pay some bills. You know what it's time to talk about, Justin Robert Young? Hell yeah, Brian. Listen, we're all going to die one day. Oh so we really God. Justin, what is it with you? What is it with you and I'm, the I'm trying to talk about Squarespace. I know. I know. And you start off the sponsoring by saying we're all going to die someday. <laughs> okay. Really? Can you let me get to my point? Okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe you're going to save the whole thing. Go ahead. Tell us about Squarespace. Go ahead. And we need a memorial that will last till the end of the internet. Really? And there's no easier way to do that than by setting up your own Squarespace. Space web page, which is so easy to set up at a low, low price. And I don't care if the singularity crashes the internet, those servers will never go down. It's so rock solid. All right, look, uh, first of all, that'll be the last time I ever tossed to Justin for a sponsor read. Listen, hello, internet. My name is Brian Brushwood, and I'd like to tell you about a service that I actually use for myself to host my primary business website called squarespace.com. Squarespace.com. Uh, Square oh, oh, look at Mr. Professional. Woo! Look at me. I'm Billy Mays. <laughs> All right, listen, can I talk to the people about Squarespace? Here's Dude, no, talking about Squarespace, <laughs> Ted Kennedy. <laughs> All right, here's the thing about Squarespace. Ted Kennedy had a Squarespace. We'd all, you know, I'd be able to go there right now, learn about it. But he didn't. And now look at him. So here's the important thing about Squarespace. Squarespace is perfect if you run a blog, if you run a business site, if you are somebody who has a side business, or if you just have something to say, you can look 100% completely badass and professional because the built-in templates look freaking amazing. Right off the bat, it takes no effort on your part. Your website won't look like one of those boring you know, uh, a WordPress site. It won't look like every other blog out there. If you're somebody who knows nothing about tech, it'll automatically look amazing and you're able to just type in new blog post entries and they show right up. If you are a wizard of like CSS and HTML, you can use 
all that ability to customize your Squarespace page. It's absolutely amazing. And the best part is there is a free, no risk, two week trial. They don't even ask for a credit card number. All you have to do is give them an email. You can log in, you can play with it, make a joke site. In fact, why don't all of you guys right now go and make some kind of NSFW tribute page over at Squarespace. Go in, log in, give them an email, get the page started. You don't have to give them a credit card. Just get the whole thing started. Boring, Dude, boring. What? This Weekend Fun did that. Really? Right, Sarah? <laughs> really? Duh. <laughs> Uh, um, you know I what? Know. Make this a, is how you read sponsors? Make, make. <laughs> Boring. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. How about this? Everybody go out and make a <laughs> memorial site for This Week in Fun. For, oh, oh, how about, all right, yes. Talk about how awesome This Week in Fun was. That's what, that's what I just said. You just restated what I said and took credit I, for my idea. All right, sure. Whatever. Is that how you read sponsors, Brian? You attack me? <laughs> All right. So the point is, create an awesome memorial page for This Week in Fun. I tell you what, next week we'll announce the winner. Whoever makes the best Squarespace This Week in Fun memorial site, we will plug on the next episode of NSFW. But here's the best part. Once you get familiar with the tools, once you understand what a kick-ass platform Squarespace is, you'll be able to sign up using our own special code. Justin, do you know the code, sir? Oh, that's NSFW, Brian. Yes, that's right. If you use code NSFW, you get 10% off the lifetime of your order. Now, here's the thing I don't, think, yeah. I don't think people realize. The lifetime might be a pretty long time. So as a result, we could save you hundreds, thousands of hundreds of exactly. dozens of dollars. And I result. just want to point out that that's the lifetime of your order, not your lifetime. So after you die, you can still, uh, your family can keep this page alive and well. No, and that's good. Oh, is this? Oh, I see. You're bringing it all back now. That's why you brought up death in the opening of this pitch, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Brian, I thought I was a rank amateur. Sure. <laughs> okay, but the important thing is, long after you are nothing but dust, forgotten yes. in the wind, your tribute to the show, This Weekend Fun, will live on through Squarespace, and we'll be happy to promote it right here on NSFW. Get on over to squarespace.com. Use promo code NSFW because not only will you be getting a big fat discount, but you'll be making these guys look good in the eyes of the people who make the show possible. Anything else you want to say about NSFW or Squarespace? Dude, offer code NSFW, squarespace.com. It's available after you die. Ding! <laughs> All right, look, that's enough of that. Let's solve some problems. Justin, who, who yeah. day are we going to make? Oh my God, we're gonna call up John. Let me read you what John's problem is. Hold on. Uh, are you sure we don't need to fix your problem first? <laughs> oh, well that's, oh, listen. Those were, those are a lot, that was just, who would do that? <laughs> listen, Sarah Lane used to be a very big fan of yours and it's a little disgusting. God, I'll tell you what, I can't that, remember that used to fit into that dress. The Jesus. You totally... you, are they real? They are spectacular. I know. Well, Those I don't roses like to brag are about very it. nice. Yes, Gosh, the roses are beautiful. They are, I mean, the perfect. Yeah, you don't get that very often. You don't get roses no. like this or, no. or these very often. No, you're right. That's good. Sweet all right, part. Justin, let's go. Supple, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, so Johnny boy, Johnny writes in, a group of my friends go on an annual trip together at the end of the summer. But this year we have a problem. We have a person who invited himself on our trip, and we as a group don't dislike him, but we really don't want him to go with us. Uh, but we really don't want to hear from him all year about how we wish you could have gone, blah, blah, blah. So how do we go on this trip without explicitly telling him to GTFO? Okay, now here's the problem. You called him Johnny Boy in your setup. So I'd search for J John, N -Y. John, John, SNJ, and then at the email that he has. It's a helps me solve this problem. Use me is the tag on Gmail. Okay, uh, help me solve this problem. I'm looking for J O A. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, there we go. J O N. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got his phone number. Ready to call him. Who's going to do what, Justin? Uh, well, I, I, I had the, the, the bon mot at the end, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and restate the problem. I think, uh, Sarah, you should uh, provide the answer, and, and Brian, you should be the witty quip master. Okay, done and done. You ready? So I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to... Okay, all right, are we just going to go? Well, I mean, uh, I, I know my part. I know what I, you know, yeah. 
What about you, Sarah? You know what you're going to suggest to him? See, Sarah's on the hard. I, I think we should I help guess Sarah so. out. Sure. I mean, it's a bunch of meanies who don't want to hang out with their friend, right? So, That's sure, right. I can give what him some you, what advice. What are you going to tell him to say to them? Well, wait, what if his friend's super annoying? Though? Hey, whoa. Well, we, we all know if the person's super annoying. We're a team. Come on. But they're, but they're still saying that they're going to hang out with him the rest of the year, and so he might be complaining. They're not saying they want to just not be friends with him. They just don't want him to go on this particular trip. And that's being kind of a selective fair-weather friend, don't you think? I mean, depends on how annoying he is, I guess. I know. But if he's that annoying, then they could just be like, we don't like you. And then problem solved. But that's not mean? They're being, Telling the dude to well, jump in the lake if for life? If he's that horrible, no. It's not that mean. If he's that bad. But if they're, like, just wanting to be passive-aggressive about it, then I don't know. I guess I have some advice. All right. All right. I think, I think, I think we, we, we're, right, we're, we got enough we're ready to go. To go. On. We're ready, all right. right? All right, yeah. let's do it. Let's call this guy. Here we go. Done and done. It's on starting now. Phone's ringing, dude. Hello. Problem solvers. John, you want to go on a summer trip, but your annoying friend wants to go too. You don't want to have the stink of kicking him off, but you don't want him to go. Oh, right. so here's what you do. I've got a great solution. A week before you're scheduled to leave, all of you hang out with him a lot and just start urinating on yourselves. <laughs> Day, night, you know, number two if you can. I know that that can be kind of, you know, like a pressure situation. But just stink. Just stink, spitting, but mostly the urination. Make sure you drink a lot of water so you stay hydrated. I guarantee you he will opt out. Problem if, solved. If number two you go, it'll GTFO. <laughs> Problem solved. See? Freaking simple. <laughs> done and done. We probably I wish I could give all of you guys a high five. I feel like we really accomplished something there. Dude, I think we uh we better you know what here, we'll, we'll give the three of you the hand. We'll just throw our hands up in the air for you. All right, look, let's let's make some lives better. What else you got, Justin? Next and go. Okay, here this is this is a this is an easy one. Uh this one comes in from Robert. He says, uh, it's so hot. Hey guys. Long-time listener of the audio, recently upgraded to video. My problem is this. My house down in Tennessee is unbearably hot, even with the AC on. I have two roommates, a guy and a girl. How should we keep cool? Dude. I mean, they have AC. How hot yeah, is it? Yeah, it's not working. It's hot in Tennessee. It's the hot. AC is broken. And he has roommates, a guy and a girl. Who's got so what job? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe this needs to get hotter. I'm just saying, if you're hot you enough, want you, you want start, to answer the question, Brian? Cool. Yo, yeah, oh, dude, yeah, no, I'm, I've got this. I, I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and tap you for this one. I All think right. you got it. You got a good All one, right. Sarah. You, you go ahead and get get the witty, uh, the witty rejoiner there. Great, thanks. <laughs> 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 All right, done and done. We're giving him a call right now. Here we go. This is the awkward part. What is the point of them giving us their phone <laughs> number if they don't answer the freaking Well, they're, I think they're having second thoughts. They're having sex is what they're doing. Oh, that kind of hot. Se sex and thoughts. Does he not even have voicemail? Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi. Problem solvers. You and your roommates want to learn how to keep cool. Listen, sometimes the only way to get cool is to get hotter. So if the three of you whip it up in the hot tub, I guarantee you it'll be so hot, y'all feel cool. Where we don't Jimmy have a hot hat. tub. Wait, say it again. <laughs> Where Jimmy hat? You hear that? Problem solved. Done. Done. We're fixing lives, people. Come on, this is huge. Right up top, dude. This is the biggest deal we've ever done. All right, next, next problem. This By the way, I love how you had to go bad. I, Brian, you get the gold star on that one because you saw that that Sarah's advice was lost in the crossfire, and you're like, no, no. No, no man left behind. That's, I'm going back for that clip. I'm going to throw it right back at him. That's what I'm saying is you got to get the whole thing going. That's exactly right. All right, Justin, who are we doing next? 
<laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Uh, this one comes from Rachel. Rachel writes us, I know Sarah loves cats, so I figured she should give me some good insight. My cat hates me. He bites the S word out of me and pounces on my face while I'm sleeping. How can I force him to accept my love or should I appreciate this as a preemptive measure and, uh, of stopping me from being a crazy cat lady later in life? Can I just uh, give an award for uh, how can I force him to accept my love as like, <laughs> like best phrase ever? <laughs> exactly. All right, this is good. Uh, do you want to give the advice on this one or you want to give the, the setup or the, or the takedown? Well, see, here's the thing, you guys, is that I would be the obvious choice to actually yeah. answer the problem because I am a crazy cat lady. But maybe sure. I ought to let you guys. No, take Justin, it over. you answer. Yeah, I this think one. I think I gotta. I I'll think recap, I gotta do it. I'll recap. You be there with the witty send off. You ready? Who? I you. already did a witty send off. Oh. Yeah, she just did the witty send off. You got to do the witty send off. Sarah's got to restate the question. Yeah, you restate the question. You give okay. the answer. I will do the witty send off. And this okay. is for crazy cat lady. Ready? Yes. Here you go. And we're calling her. Hello? Problem solvers. Let's get this straight. You've got a cat and your cat hates you and you want to force him to accept your love. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Leave it outside like Dino at the beginning of the Flintstones and never look back. Listen, you can't force love. It comes from above. Problem solved. <laughs> there it is. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is money in the bank. Come on. This is the easiest it gig is. I've ever had. I mean, I'm going to be a millionaire by the end of the show. Dude, so clearly. Set him up and knock him down. Dude, come on. This is great. <laughs> All right, look, we got, we got time for a couple more. Justin, set us up here, boss. Sure. All right. This one uh, comes in uh, Jarrell. Uh, not, not, uh, what is it? Like, wait, Superman's, like Superman's uh, dad, Jarrell? Father? Yeah, Jarrell. Jarrell uh, is also a 13 year old boy trying to get a date uh, <laughs> on Krypton. On Krypton, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I don't uh, know if, if, if this area code is, is the direct one to Krypton pre destruction, I, but. I am trying very hard to find Jarrell in the list, and it's not a. J U R R E L L. Okay, that's not at all Jarrell. That's. Okay, got it. Got it, got what it. What is it then? World traveler? Jor 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 Around the world Jor in 80 Jor days? How do you pronounce that? J O R E L. Everyone knows that. Go ahead. I know. I know. I'm not saying it was it was spelled like Jarrell. Well, I'm yeah. just saying oh, it's it was Jorel. I'd say Jorel. All right, go ahead. What what right. what does Jarrell want? Uh she says, I'm a 13-year-old boy trying to get a date. Besides doing tricks or puzzles, what talents can help me get a date? <laughs> oh poor not guy. doing tricks or puzzles. <laughs> See, okay, you wanna you wanna take the answer on this one? <laughs> I'm sure he would love to hear the answer from the lady. Sure. All right. Done and done. I'll set it up. You take us out, Justin. You ready? Sure. <laughs> All right. Done and done. Let's do this. Here we go. Get ready, Jarrell. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Listen, Jorel, you're under the mistaken impression that somehow doing tricks and puzzles will get you a date. Bad news. Trivial Pursuit, bad idea. Jenga, good idea. Twister, the best idea of all. Stop playing games and you'll be in a Chinese finger trap before you know it. Problem solved. I'm sorry. I told I was clicking the camera on the wrong person. I love I love the fact that the camera goes on Justin and Justin's like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. <laughs> we just discussed this. It's the All right. Uh, chat room's accusing this guy of being doing an external activity while he was on the phone with us. I'm sure that that was inappropriate and not true. Justin, I say we go with, uh, I don't know, Kate. You want to do Kate? with an awful coworker who's constantly kicking me out of my department and everyone hates her, yet she still works with her. How can I learn to deal with her? By the way, she's a total bitch. Yeah, I say we, I say we roll with that one. All right. Because uh, if, there's, if there's one thing that uh, we're really, really naturally, our core competency, Brian, is females dealing with other females at work. 
as we both have non-traditional jobs in our men. <laughs> totally makes sense, dude. Totally makes sense. All right, here's the question. Do you want to restate the problem? You're, you're answering it, by the way, Brian. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I'll uh, restate the question. Sarah, you got the, uh, you got, you got the, the wit. The witty out. The I'll witticism. do the heavy lifting. Okay. Okay. So this is, oh, my God. By the way, real quick. We've got to we've got to pause it because we have late breaking news that just showed up. Go ahead and throw that back on. This is being handed to me by none other than our intrepid reporter, DJ Z, Zach Holder, who told me that this tweet just came in from Squarespace saying, wait for it, wait for it. Apparently, we're a particularly popular sponsor of NSFW show. Hell yeah. Just 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 throwing that out there. Double complete rainbow. Double complete rainbow is right, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you guys are great. Okay, so uh, I wasn't paying attention. So whose job is what? Go ahead. Uh, you're answering the question. I'm restating the question. And Sarah's in the old, in, in, in the Mark Twain catbird seat there. All right. Done and done and done. Here we go. Let's go, Kate. By the way, it, what an upset. Like 75% of these came from girls. Yeah, dude. Never would have expected well, that. Well, girls are winners. That, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Hello? Problem solvers. So you got a really bitchy co-worker, but you just had to find a way to work with her. Uh, listen, oh, yeah. the, the problem is simple. If you want to scratch that itch, you got to slap that bitch. <laughs> when yes. in doubt, grab a whiteboard and write it out. Problem solved. There we go. <laughs> that, of course, a reference to today's most awesome fire or, or quitting of, of the chick who did the, right, the whiteboard thing, right? Is that what you were referencing? Yes, sure. yes, Brian, yes. Dude, That's that was amazing. <laughs> it out. It's like, yep. Yes, Brian, sure. I'll spell it out even more than I just did for everybody right. when we all laughed at it. Yes, Brian. <laughs> 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 right, and by the way, between that guy and 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 Stone Cold Steve Slayton kicking out the door of the Slater, Jet Blue Slater, plane Steve and sliding Slater, down yeah. with the two beers in his hand, giving the middle fingers, uh, I, I want next week to be everybody trying to get hired in fancy ways, like you know parachuting in and like delivering a <laughs> resume on like really heavy stock. I think that should be next week's me. Uh, by the way, one of the things that I like is the idea that we wanted to, we didn't have time to make it happen, but we wanted to conspire with everybody at the Twit Network to call Leo's voicemail and all fire <laughs> ourselves in <laughs> creative quit. ways. All yeah. quit in like hilarious ways. Well, you know, it still could happen. I could, I, mean, totally, I could see myself holding up a sign saying it's chlamydia and then, <laughs> and then I'm out. <laughs> all right, Justin, you got a favorite here or you want me to pick one? Uh, big one, because I think you, you've read the newer ones. Uh, okay. There, <laughs> somebody says that his problem is the stream won't buffer, and I'm afraid that's not quite good enough for us. I say we go with B. Lynn MC, who says, I mean, this question is really kind of all there is in the title, but what do you do with a boss that's uber stressed and a douchebag, and he makes your life a living hell at work? Signed, Babs. You is got this a suggestion? another girl? There's a lot of girls watch our show. This is like Night of the Living Dead, but with girls. We're they the just number keep one. This is, the... Like, this is like the whiteboard girl writing in almost. Yeah, this, we're the number one show for where girls go for bad advice. I can confirm <laughs> that right now. That's coming straight from the chat room. Justin, who wants to do what here? Um, I haven't done the witty quip. I can answer to the witty quip. Whatever, whatever somebody doesn't want to take, I'll do one of those two. All right. What do you want to do, Sarah? Uh, I can um, I, I can give a solution. All right, done. I will restate it, and that's why we are calling her right now. You ready? Let's go, team problem solvers. Go. Here we go. It's been forwarded to an automatic voice. Boom! Two, seven, seven, All right, four, we'll this eight, man. Eight, eight, eight. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. 
Problem solver. Listen, Babs, you say your problem's your boss. I think your boss is the problem. I'm saying that you should have answered the phone. If you still want advice, you throw a company party, you give him a pot brownie, and you watch him mellow out. Kill his dog. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> this is just getting weird. <laughs> Dude, I'm drunk with power. This is why Dr. Laura does it, is because she just, she just glows with the hate through her veins, the contempt for her own listeners. And that's like, I'm getting a taste of that right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kill him! Oh, uh, Kill say, yourself! Uh, I'm ready to start giving, like, just bizarre advice. Like, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, Brian. Let, let's really take a, take a left <laughs> turn off normal after I just scream, kill his dog to a stranger. <laughs> let's Dude. do a real 180 and start doling out some weird advice. <laughs> All right, I say we'll do one more. Um, By the way, please don't kill anyone's dog. Just so, just so everybody knows. You're weak. See, you, you don't have the courage of your convictions. Uh, no, I, I just don't want it to be like, like oh, and can you please uh, play Exhibit A? And it's just me screaming, kill his dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I say we do this one. We got one from Roberto. So here's my problem. There's this girl I'm trying to go out with, and I'm pretty certain she's into me, but that's not the problem. Uh, somehow we get to talking about religion, and she drops this huge A-bomb. Apparently in her religion, the most a couple can do pre-marriage is hug. I'll be honest, I think I could deal with the concept of no sex, but I'm a huge fan of making out. I really yeah. did this chick. Hey, so my question is, should I just call it quits and move on, or should I go for it? Which I love the, the implied, like, against her permission, you know? I'm crazy enough to do either one. The number is blank. All right, so let's talk, people. Who's going to do what advice? This is a I, complicated I can restate the problem. I can answer this one. Really? <laughs> I got it. All right. I got the witty rejoinder. Let's go. I've checked many a religious girl. Done, I got done and done. Please state your we'll name make this happen. The tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. It's your freaking solution. Answer, bastard. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Uh, Leap chicken eight is not equal to eight. Problem solvers. So you want to get freaky with a girl, but she's kind of a prude, and all she can do is hug, and you really want to get into the making out. God sure. ain't got nothing on natural urges. Keep on trucking till you hit the promised land over and over again. You heard the man. Keep on trucking, and you'll end up... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm hitting play. That will play. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't leave that one in. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Was that him? You know? <laughs> Worst advice. <laughs> 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 Fine, 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 fine. All right. Good. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what? All right, I have one. I don't know if we should call, but this one just came into the uh, NSFW show Nerve Center. Uh, Lawn Gnome writes, uh, uh, <laughs> No, stop, 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 stop. I won't read it in total. Okay. Just saying that uh, one man is writing it. This isn't even a problem. It's just kind of a confessional <laughs> that uh, he once got busy on grandma's bed with nine other guys while listening to Sarah Lane describe his actions. I got no advice for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we do have one. Of course, it's titled help. help, but I don't remember those lyrics being in the Beatles song. Yeah, it's help. <laughs> All right, listen, we do have one serious problem. This one comes from Colin. Uh, his problem is that there's a man who keeps climbing in his window and snatching <laughs> his people up. How do I get him to leave my people alone? What? <laughs> Somebody's climbing in his windows, yeah. snatching his people's up. And I mean, obviously, there's a rapist in Lincoln Park. Well, and I'm saying what you need to do is hide your kids, hide your wife, <laughs> and hide your husbands, too, because they're raping, they're they're raping, raping everybody out here. Yeah, no, exactly. Look, I think we go ahead and we set them straight here. Let's go ahead and give them a call. What? No, we're not calling them. Yeah, we are. Are <laughs> no. you kidding me? 
This guy, this guy's got a problem. Somebody's we should get blood. Antoine Dotson on. He's like got a YouTube. You restate video. the problem. Somebody's climbing See? in his window, snatching his people up. I'll All restate right. the problem. Okay. Hello. <laughs> problem solvers. Crazy man's coming in your window and snatching all your peoples up. <laughs> uh, hide your wife, hide your kids, and hide your husband, because they're raping everybody out here. So you can run and tell that, homeboy, homeboy. Problem solved. Done. See? It's freaking simple. Come on, people. That was the right note to end on. All right. I say I'm we glad we did up that. Here. Dude, this is the best episode of the show we've ever had. We're going to hang around for the after show. But first, what do you got to plug for us? I know that you are on Tech News Today every, what, Monday and Friday? or Mondays and Fridays, Tech News Today with Tom Merritt and and variety of other hosts. Uh, Darren Kitchen on Mondays and all sorts of different people on Fridays. Um, Green Tech Today is Twit's news show. Uh, we shoot that off of the grid so to speak. So it's never in this studio. It's actually uh, Dr. Kiki and I, we shoot it out in, you know, pretty meadows and green so stuff, you know, no, hippie no stuff. No grids. No grids. Yeah. If you're looking for Tron, why don't you find another show, <laughs> loser? Well, unless it's green Tron, and then we we'll might cover <laughs> yeah. it. All right. Done and done. And, you and then uh, iPad Today also with uh, Leo Laporte. Uh, it's been Tom Merritt the last couple of weeks because Leo's been out uh, on vacation, but uh, on Thursday he's back. So any of those shows and follow me at... Uh, Sarahlane.com, and I don't really blog there all that much these days, but I am a prolific Twitterer, at Sarah Lane on Twitter. <laughs> Sarah Lane on Twitter, by the way, I love the fact you're like, so if you want to visit my empty home, head on over to this address, <laughs> at SarahLane.com. You'll see By the way, I am a Well, it's true. Set. I just don't want people to think I've blogged there recently. I, I've neglected it, but I'm, I'm going to get back on the train. You're too I'm honest, here, Lane. So it'll happen. If, you, if we're going to make the problem solvers work, you got to get less honest. Uh, speaking of which, hey, real quick, let me say real quick for everyone listening that my number one favorite podcast that I have the opportunity to participate in is the Weird Things podcast over at weirdthings.com. If you are hearing my voice, head on over to weirdthings.com and sign up for the Weird Things podcast. It is me, Justin Robert Young, and a guy who's smarter than the two of us combined, Mr. Andrew Main, acting as Dungeon Master. is my favorite thing to do. Also, make sure to follow me at Schwood on the tweets. Mr. Justin Robert Young, what do you got for us? Uh, at Justin R. Young, of course, Weird Things and uh, I Tricks if you dig magic stuff. Uh, and I just I do want to say before we wrap up that that tech news today is a, a daily habit of mine. And, and Sarah, I think you, you kill it on the show on Mondays Absolutely. and Fridays, as does the, the, the entire crew. Thanks, right there. Guys. So make sure if you are not listening to tech news today, uh, you are literally you have a gaping tech news today hole in your heart that you must correct immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I say that's it, guys. It's time for us to wrap this thing up. That is it for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. See best, you next Tuesday. Best episode ever. See you next Tuesday. Here's a suggestion. Why don't you guys die in a fire? <laughs> <laughs> God, that was awesome, dude. That was fun. That was so much fun. Best idea we've ever had.